Today I am bringing you an absolute icon. The very first time I went to the Mediterranean doing some boating, I had my eyes widened by a fantastic super yacht in golf racing colours. And I've always remembered that boat because it was just so striking. Well, here it is. You can't see it terribly well at the minute because we're in the dock, but I'll overlay a photograph so you can see the full effect. But this is finished in the classic golf racing colours and it looks fantastic. It's a 2011 Heaton. It's 37 metres. It's had several refits and it looks brilliant. Really pleased to bring you this one and really pleased to get on board of it actually because as I say this was something that really caught my eye the very first time I went to the bed doing boating. We've got some music on the boat next door hopefully that's not going to bother us too much they're blasting out the ACDC today and if we come on here we've got a massive cockpit area around the back this is all shaded of course and we're going to head on inside first of all we're going to do the full tour and we're going to go into cabins, guest areas, crew areas, engine room, deck areas of the lot and we're starting right here with this amazing dining table. What's nice about this is it's right at the back of the boat, you can have these doors open, you can have the view out the back or if the weather's not so good as you can see they'll power closed and then away we go. But yeah look at that, doesn't that look gorgeous? Absolutely fantastic. We'll head forward a little bit further and then up here is the saloon area. So it's quite nice they've put this more towards the centre of the boat and it's um, it just makes this a really cosy area. Of course, you've got bar area back here. So this is giving you, obviously, well, all the, all the bar stuff. There we go, a bit of crockery in there, that kind of thing. It's very nicely done, isn't it? Let's come on forward. Ah, now you can see the boat here, because it's on this display. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Um, another thing I've not seen on the boat before is a fireplace. Check this out. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Brilliant. Now we've got some other people having a tour. So I think what we'll do, we normally go forward, but instead we'll go down because they've gone forward. And I'll show you the guest areas. Career areas are in here. We'll come to that. Bridge is up here. But we'll head on down first of all. What's quite interesting is that normally on this size boat you get four cabins down here. This one has three cabins because they've given extra room to the crew. So the crew have got some really nice generous cabins and space and that's how they've done it. So basically what we've got down here is, um, well, <laughs> see for yourself, three double cabins. There is the owner's cabin up on the main deck of course, so four in total. Love these iconic pictures across here, they look so nice. And also you're seeing little touches of carbon fibre around the place. You can see it on here, for example, you can see it around here. And it just kind of goes with that racing heritage, that racing theme. There's storage down in behind here. Well, I can't open that for some reason. What am I doing wrong? There we go. That's a little bit of a pull. There we go. So these are hanging lockers in here. But look at the detail on here. Look at where they've done all these. It's just beautiful. Let's pop that one back. There we go, that clips back into place. And then the ensuite for this cabin is in here with the heads and with the shower. Okay, let's come out of here. Let's cross over. There's a similar cabin over here. There we go, same sort of deal, double bed. Again, with a lovely iconic imagery around the place. The AV equipment's up here. Storage just dotted around everywhere. I won't open it all, but just to give you a little flavor. This is the kind of thing like this. It looks like Zavi equipment in there as well at the top. Yeah, there we go. And um, hanging locker again, just over on this side. And then the ensuite is here. Same kind of deal, isn't it? And then there's one more cabin down here. That is across here. A little bit larger, two singles. Nice little dressing area in this one. Again, you've got that carbon fibre trim. Again, you've got the lovely pictures. Again, you've got the AV equipment. All the kind of stuff that you would expect, really. But yeah, very, very lovely boat, this. En suite in here. And the shower. There we go. Okay, let's come out of here. That's pretty much covered off the lower deck, isn't it? Hope we can get that forward cabin now. Curious as to what's in here. Ah. Ice maker, maybe? 
fridge. There we go. Drinks. It's a good idea. And storage for stuff. Oh, we're nosy, aren't we? Oh, there we go. Linen. Excellent. Alrighty. Let's press one up. Hopefully that forward cabin is now free. There's day heads up here as well. That's in this one. Just checking. Decent size actually, isn't it? Look at that. And this then is the owner's cabin. Huge, huge wardrobe here. I mean, that is, I've seen cabins that are small. Now you could put some bunks here and call that another cabin, but no, that is just a walk-in wardrobe. Drawers obviously along the bottom as well. Lovely desk area, dressing area. Use it how you will here. Big windows as well, so tremendous view out. And then this is the main part of the cabin. Isn't that lovely? And again, we've seen that carbon fibre that sort of matches the, the theme of the boat, that sort of sporty theme. We're going with horse racing in this one. A lovely little spot to <laughs> say it with me, tuck yourself away with a good book. Fantastic. That's a nice cabin. Brilliant. Let's go and look at the ensuite and then we'll head on lots more to cover. Now there's a bath in this one, which is nice. That's in behind here. Lovely. And then obviously sink, storage underneath. And then through here, we've got a really big shower. Really big. That's fantastic. And then another sink over on this side. And then behind this frosted glass, we have, no, it's just one toilet <laughs> and a bidet. There we go. Impressive, huh? Okay, let's press on a bit further. That's very nice. Right, I think what we'll do while we're on this deck is we'll take a loop around and have a quick look in the crew cabins and the crew area. So we can go in through here. We've got this lovely galley area. Look at that. That's a nice size, isn't it? This is <laughs> cooking, I think. I'm not very good with galleys. Um, refrigeration, obviously, all that kind of stuff. I think that one is a dishwasher. And then we've also got from here crew access straight onto the side deck, so crew can come and go without needing to go to the accommodation. Straight out down there. And if we back up slightly, spin on round, this will take us down. This is all servers and all that kind of stuff is in here for all you IT geeks. And this one then takes us down to the crew area. So this, as I was saying, is a particularly good size for this size of boat. Now this is in use. We're going to show you one of the cabins with permission. And that's around here. And that is the captain's cabin. So this is a really good size. Look at this. We've got a nice desk area in here. We've got these drawers in here. We've got the bunks in here. So you can figure out how you wish. A load of storage down here. I mean, that is, when we come back here, you can see what I mean, can't you? It's a really, really good size. This is storage down here, and hopefully, a golden. There we go. There'll be a light for this somewhere. Not that one, though. There we go. There we go. So, proper separate shower. All really nicely done, high standard. Just a very, very comfortable cruise space. And that's what they wanted to do, and that's why they have a three cabin lower deck rather than usual four cabinets to create all this space down here for the crew. So back out through here, there are two more crew cabins down here. We're not going to go into them because they're in use. Um, laundry facilities here as well, of course, thusly. So there's another crew cabin here. There's another crew cabin here. They are both also got their own en suites. So yeah, it is a very nicely configured crew area for this size of boat. Absolutely brilliant. OK, let's come back out of here. We'll come back through the galley. And this time we're going to go up, take a look at the decks, take a look at the flybridge. That we saw, galley we saw. We'll swing all the way around. That's a decent crew area, isn't it? And this time we'll go up. This will take us up to the bridge. That's 
that's fantastic, isn't it? That's a proper serious place of business. So communications, obviously engine controls, all of this system, uh, navigation, all that kind of thing, all configured from here. Thrusters, all that kind of stuff. We've got the screens on the windscreen at the minute, so we can't really see what the view's like, but um, obviously when you're out and running, they come off. And another area for crew or for anybody else who wants to join in, just there. And then from here, we can go straight on up onto the flybridge. Now there is another helm position up here. That's over here. Now that looks like it retracts, doesn't it? I reckon, it's rather smart. Wheel is here, and then of course from here, you have got that view. If you're out and running, clearly you take the shades down, but um, yeah, that's spectacular. It is a high performance boat, this. I'll talk about the performance in a moment when we go inside. Another great dining area up here. Um, what's nice about this is that it's got the radar arch across here, but then you've got these massive bimini's that extend out in both directions. And what they've done is they've actually braced these at the end, so even when you're out of running, you can still have them up. That's what these chaps here are for. That's a nice shady spot for dinner, isn't it? And then over here is the bar area, with its usual accoutrements. And then if we come on back, sunbathing and more sunbathing. That's nice. I love these lights around the back. Where are we? Let's point to the right place. There you go, one there, <laughs> one there. And this is nice. This is the area right at the back of the boat. When you're at anchor, you can sit up here, have a drink, gaze out across the back. Fantastic. Now, the interesting thing about this flybridge is it's asymmetric. So we've got steps up that side, which we'll go down in a minute. I'll show you that. But what you can do is you can come around here and you can head down to the foredeck. Now, this is something we're starting to see more and more of. The latest Princess Y95 has this feature. This boat, Heeson, they were doing this a decade ago, more than a decade ago. So what we think of is actually quite a new idea. <laughs> here it is already. So it means that you can go from the flybridge to the foredeck. You need to come down the steps at the back and then back up along the side decks. It gives you a really good route around the boat. Huge amount of sunbathing up here. Again, those are those umbrellas that we saw from the flybridge helm position, which was up there. And then down. This is nice, a little seating area up here. Nice private little place to tuck yourself away. Life rafts here. We've got anchor handling kit, of course. And we'll come right up to the bow and take a look at the magnificent Monaco Yacht Show. And we'll take a look at this magnificent Heeson Yacht. Brilliant. I think we've covered most of it, but we're going to go look at the important bit now because this isn't just sporty in appearance, this is sporty in performance as well. This is properly fast, in fact. So let's take you back, take you down. We're going to do the beach club and we're going to do the engine space. Okay, steps down here. Side door back into the accommodation area. We're going to head on back. That's the fender you can hear rubbing there in the background. This is a lovely area, isn't it? That will take you back up to the flybridge. That is the crew door that we saw just closing down the end there when we were in the galley area okay. go we're going to head on aft can, okay. go on, out. drop down here and what you've got here is a drop transom so this hinges up and closes off when you're at anchor or wherever else you can drop it down and you've got this fabulous area right in the back of the boat for sunbathing playing in the water i mean you are you know, at the beach aren't you it's brilliant this is the passerelle where we came on board and that retracts Love this carbon fibre kayak with the number 10, same as the yacht. That's a lovely detail. But talking of lovely details, check out this colour-coded jet ski. All done in exactly the same colours, tuned up, 300 horsepower apparently, and um, 70 knots. And if you want to see the level of detail that they've gone to with this boat, I mean, you can see, obviously, that one is in the golf racing colours again to match. But check this out.
They've even, hang on, they've even colour coded the engine. <laughs> That's just fantastic. Let's pop that one back. There we go. Brilliant. So, Beach Club here. This was, I think, a tender garage, but they've changed this to be able to be used as a beach club, so you've got the shade and you've got the protection from the elements, and you can sit down here and watch everybody splashing out of the water. That's a nice zone. I think they pull a tender or have a chase tender or whatever. And then in through here, this is normally zipped down, they've got it open for me because we are going to go and have a look in this area. So we've got access straight up to the deck here. And if we come in through here, we have engines and we have performance and how because what we've got in here well first of all there's two massive generators at the back on either side little workbench all that kind of stuff but this is the big news look at these bad boys these are a pair of MTU 16 v 4000 M90 engines they are 3650 horsepower each and they're giving this yacht 30 knots 30 just unbelievable that is fantastic cruising 17 is pretty comfortable apparently and you can drop back to 14 knots and get almost 2,000 miles of range so it has the legs but it doesn't it have the speed if you want to get a move on <laughs> this is the boat for you look at this fantastic air conditioning units through here that's the other generator plenty of other stuff going on isn't there let's go right around the size of this exhaust unbelievable nice 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 and there we go I was talking to the engineer earlier he said it was twin turbo and you power up I think I'm right in saying I might have got these numbers slightly wrong but I think he said she accelerates up to about 1800 um, rpm and then the second turbo kicks in and then she goes again he said it is a spectacular boat in terms of the performance and i can believe it with those engines in that is brilliant absolutely brilliant okay i think we've done a reasonable job of that another route out there straight up to deck level so you don't obviously have to have the beach club to get into here which makes sense because when you add it sea, you wouldn't have that down. But it is an easy route for us to come in and have a look. There we go. Okay, let's come back out of here. And I think this is as good a spot as any to finish, isn't it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to park myself over here. I'm going to say absolutely massive thanks to Denison Yachts down here in Monaco. They've got this fabulous ship for sale. Give these guys a shout if you're interested. Massive thanks to you guys, of course, for watching it. But I'm really pleased to get on that one because that is a real icon. I've seen this boat around in the med. To actually get on board is a privilege. Let me know what you think as ever in the comments and we'll catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.